All right, Scott Brown, hard, but now I talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Scott Brown here, back with another video, back with my man, That's Good Money. And today's video is going to be very, very, very special, all right? Because let me tell you, man, I get a lot of requests in my DMs, a lot of requests in my inbox. And people want to know, Scott, what is the progression or how to do a muscle up? You know, I just did a couple of, you know, a couple of them in the background, but listen. First of all, you gotta crawl before you can walk. So there's progressions towards doing a muscle up. And I know, like, when it comes to calisthenics, everyone, everybody wanna learn to do the muscle up. It's a very fancy move, or it's a very, how do I say this? It's a very, like, strength move. Cause you see somebody doing a muscle up, it's like, wow, this person must be really strong, you know? Like, how do you even fight the gravity to get over there? So today I'm gonna show you the progression steps on how to get the muscle ups, all right? So just follow me. First things first, prerequisites, all right? I wanna come over to pull up ball first. I'm not gonna say anything, watch. All right, now I can say something. What you just seen right there was clean pull-ups. I did not kip, and I made sure I break the 90. So the first things first, you gotta crawl before you can walk. You gotta make sure that your pull-ups are good money. As in like, you can do 10 to 15 pull-ups, no kipping, really good reps, and also incorporate an isometric hold. But now, let's come over here. We're gonna get back to it. So, the transition into a muscle-up. There's two movements. You're going to an explosive pull-up into a dip, all right? Explosive pull-up into a straight bar dip, per se. So what you want to do, you want to work on your straight bar dips. Watch. Come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Now hold it. Try to incorporate the isometric hold, because once you keep on holding it, your triceps are gonna get involved, all right? So first things first, learn to do your straight bar dips, all right? Now we're gonna come over to the bar again. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you something. I'm gonna teach you something the negative pull up, well the negative pull down, whatever you wanna call it. So once you're here, right? Say you can do pull-ups, fine. I want you to come here in the concentric and lower the eccentric. One, two, three, four, five. Good, come again. Concentric, eccentric. One, two, three, four, five. Good, again. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. So what I'm doing is, I'm learning to manage my body against gravity. Because whatever comes up, must, must comes down. All right, so work on your isometric and your negative pull-ups. Well, that was a negative pull-up. Now I'm gonna show you the isometric part. You come here. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You see what I just did? I held it. Time under tension. My rhomboids, my back is working, my arms are working, everything in my upper body is working. Also my core as well because this is such a compound. Well, even though you're not moving, the isometric is time under tension, so you're going to feel it all around the core and your upper body as well. We're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. So, we did our isometrics. Now I'm about to show you something that you can do with the resistance band, all right? 
Matter of fact, before I even go into the resistance band, also, when you're learning to do the muscle-up, you gotta learn to be more explosive. Activate those type two muscle fibers, all right? So once you're doing a pull-up, try to get it to your chest, try to come over. So watch me. Get a little bit more explosive. Because once you get to transition over the bar, then you want to dip up. Now let's go with the band. So say you have the band. We'll put the band over here. So the reason for the resistance band is to help you transition over the bar. Because that's the hardest part. Yes, the swinging part. Everybody got the swing, but the transition over the bar, especially as a beginner, is very hard. You're gonna have to activate certain muscle fibers or muscle uh, for <laughs> certain muscle groups. <laughs> Shout out to the kids. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is what you're gonna do. Woo! This is the workout. <laughs> I wish I had somebody to help me. Ah, there we go. So watch, you have your foot and the band itself is gonna help you get over the bar. Now watch, swing it, one, two, three, four, and three. So when you get to the top, Say you just did five assisted muscle ups. When you get to the top, you don't just, you just don't um, stop, all right? Now incorporate some dips. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo. Oh my gosh. This is bad. So listen, this is very important to get this resistant band right here, all right? You can get it at Amazon, eBay, or go to any uh, sporting goods store and get you a nice band like this. This is definitely going to help you get the muscle. All right? So let me take this down real quick. All right, there we go. Put this right here. All right. So if you follow those steps, if you follow those steps, try to do it for three to four reps of each step that I'm telling you, you'll be good. You'll be able to do the muscle. Trust me, I remember my first muscle, man. It took me some time, but I had to make sure I built up my whole body, not just my upper body. Can't spot reduce. You gotta build your whole body. Your body is a whole. Even your legs come into play. The core come into play as well. So, you did all the steps that I told you, right? Now, you should be able to do a muscle-up. I know your first time muscle-up, you're probably going to use some momentum. So, get a little explosive. There's nothing wrong with kipping and exploding, especially as a beginner. You want to go over the bar. One of the most important things that people forget to talk about is that the elbows play a part as well. Try not to flare your, your elbows so much. Try to keep it in. Keep it in a focal point, because when you flare out your elbows, you put yourself in a risk of injury. Now say you've been practicing your movements. You've been practicing your movements, you've been doing the routines, telling you everything that you're supposed to do. Your muscles are supposed to look like this now. Right there, man. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. And yeah, man, 
there you have it. Incorporate those studs, and you will be able to get over that bar and get that muscle up, baby. It's your boy Scott Brown. All right, thanks a lot, Scott. Links, links to Scott's YouTube page and Instagram will be in the description box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, my brother. Anytime, man. That was good.